guys, Beth here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am so terribly sorry that it has been like over a week since I last uploaded a video. Um, I've had the flu really, really, really badly and I'm still hoarse and I'm still kind of sick all up in this area, but I am back with a new video and it's one of my favorites and it is my November favorites. Um, let's just talk for a second about how fast November went. Seriously, I feel like it was just Halloween and now it's freaking, right now it's December 3rd, 4th, 3rd, I think it's 3rd, yes. Anyway, so this year's almost over and I am really happy, really, really happy that it's almost over. Um, if you can hear any barking in the background, it's because my dog is a dick. And she will not stop fucking barking and growling for no damn reason. Um, I have the cat locked in here with me. I don't know where the hell he is. He's right there. Anyway, let's get started. I probably only have about nine or ten items that I have been liking this month. Because, honestly, the entire time that I have been sick, I have not worn makeup at all. At all. I texted my best friend Bree the other day and I was like... Today is the first day in five days that I have worn makeup. It's making me happy. And, of course, she laughed at me like she always does. Ace, get down. Anyway, we're just going to jump right in. <clears throat> the first thing that I have absolutely been loving this month is the Be Fine Food Skin Care Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15 with rosemary, pomegranate, and rice. And it is a um, moisturizer, obviously. I don't know, I just, it really goes on, it really moisturizes your face. The scent, it kind of smells like baby powder. Like, not baby powder, but, like, the scent just smells like baby. Here's my cat. This is Ace, everybody's seen him before, he's not happy. Anyway, it does, it smells like baby, in a way. So I don't know, it's weird, and it's very, when you first put it on, it is very, like, liquidy, and like, oily kind of, but then it just seeps into your skin, and it is awesome. I put it on after I wash my face, I put it on before I go to bed, all that, the whole shebang. The next thing is also a, like, skin face thing. Um, it is the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer in shade 684 um, and I freaking love this stuff for one it's only like four dollars at Target I went to Target with uh, Brie a couple of weeks ago it's probably been almost a month now anyway and I was looking for a new primer because I had just run out of whichever one that I was using before I can't remember um, but anyway <clears throat> This, it, like, it's shimmery. Like, it seriously, y'all will not be able to see that. But when you put it on, it's like this absolutely shimmery, like, texture. And it just, I don't know, it's, it's amazing. I have been noticing over the last couple of days of putting on makeup. Because, you know, I've been sick, so I haven't. But when I put on my makeup, I will look at myself while I'm at work or something, and my face just looks absolutely flawless. And I normally, you know, my actual foundation, it doesn't. It kind of moves and all that shit. It just depends on the primer that you use. This one's really good, and it's really freaking cheap. Really freaking cheap. And I really, really am enjoying it. Next is a favorite. I think this one was in my last month's favorite, too. But I freaking love it. It's the Stardust Urban Decay Bobbi Dazzle Eyeshadow. Pretty sure this was in my last month's, but I have been wearing the shit out of this. Like, it is just this magnificent, I don't you can't see that shit. Magnificent freaking sparkly, like, white cream color. Put it all over. The cream color doesn't really show up, but it's just sparkle. And I will wear that, just that, plus eyeliner and mascara to work, and I'm good. It's freaking awesome. I also like to occasionally use it as a brow bone highlighter. 
<clears throat> when I want to be all fancy fancy but it's really 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 good I love it speaking of Urban Decay Urban Decay has a thing on their website right now <clears throat> where until December 31st you get free shipping plus any order that you do you get like an Urban Decay rewards card type thing I can't remember what it's called but Urban Decay freaking their website seriously gets on my nerves because I ordered two of the most magnificent freaking nail polishes um, Zodiac and Bang Zodiac is like this green sparkle color oh my god it looks so pretty I can't wait till it comes here and then Bang is like this bright fluorescent orange I'm so excited I don't own anything like that but anyway I put in my you know order like three days ago and it's still being processed and I'm like why the hell is it still being processed it's already taken the money out of my account why have you not shipped my shit yet it's two freaking things but I did it that way hold on I'm gonna sneeze hey. okay we're good anyway I did it that way. I did it in two orders so that I would get two of their Urban Decay um, rewards cards because you get one with every order. And you could get anything from like free palettes, free eyeliners, um, $50 off your online order, $100 off your online order, all the way up to you could get an entire freaking Naked Vault thing, which oh my god, that would be freaking magnificent. Um, that seems to be the word of the day. Word of the day, magnificent. Anyway, also a trip to the Urban Decay Flagstaff, um, yeah, Flagstaff, uh, store. I don't know why my brain wasn't there. <clears throat> but anyway, yes, so their website pisses me off and it's apparently been pissing a lot of people off. But I know my shit better come because I want my shit. I do. Anyway, moving on because I just completely, you know went on a rant and it was not necessary <clears throat> this next thing I was very completely unsure about it I got it in my ipsy bag this month oh shameless plug here I got to ipsy is a ten dollar subscription bag thing unboxing type thing a month go on to my hmm? probably Twitter Anyway, go to ipsy.com forward slash, I think it's Tinkerbeth22, and sign up. Every time you sign up, I get 200 free, 250 free points, I think it is. Anyway, shameless plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I got this, and this little itty bitty freaking thing, like seriously, that's just absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand that, but this probably is going to last a long time. It's called Sim2. It's apparently a SB highlighter in pink pearl. Now, I tried this out as an actual, you know, highlighter. Nothing really shows up. It's not, you know, shimmery. It's nothing. It's just not there. So then I decided to read up on it. I read up that you can, you know, use it as pretty much anything. You can put it in lotion and make your sparkles. Well, what I have been finding that I really, really am enjoying, which I got the idea from Jen Loves Reviews. Definitely check her out. She is freaking phenomenal she's amazing she does reviews and honest reviews about all things all things like beauty related uh, subscription boxes anything like that she does it all um, but she said to use it as like an eye base to put your eyeshadow on instead of using like uh, like a primer potion or something like that so I started doing that the other day and holy hell it's amazing not only does it give you like this shimmer you know effect but it really holds your makeup and I am really really enjoying it really enjoying it <clears throat> next thing is what are you doing he is flipping out because he's in this room anyway this is the um, <clears throat> crown brush the C476 crease shadow I have actually been using this end of the brush because it is dual sided been using this side of the brush as a concealer brush and I have really been loving it it really gets in there lets you get to exactly the places that you need to I freaking love this and I got this free in an ipsy bag which I think is 
awesome. So this one, definitely. I really like brush on the floor. I really like crown brushes because they are just, they don't have any like fallout and they just really are, are very nice, nicely made. Next, <clears throat> this one. I have loved this since the beginning of November. When I found out, because you know, on Ipsy, you have a glam room, you get to see everything that you're going to get. I am not one to be patient and wait to see what the hell I'm going to get on the day that I get it. So I knew that I was getting this and I was so freaking super overly excited. It is the um, Elizabeth Mott You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Glitterat, Glitterat, Glitterati, Glitterati. Let me just show you this shit. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It is amazing. For one, it goes on so well. Like seriously, the precision that I get with this and that you normally don't get with liquid eyeliners. This thing, the wand, is amazing. And I have another one that I don't think is by Elizabeth Mott, but it's kind of like this. I got in another Ipsy bag a long time ago that's like this bright, like, turquoise color. I'm going to try that one out now that I know, you know, I like these so much. But it has like sparkles inside of it. It's amazing. It's a really deep black with just bright sparkles in it. And it's everyday wear, really. Like, I'm wearing it right now, and I wear this to work all the time. And it's just, it's not trashy or anything like that. It's just, it's beautiful. Only thing that I have found is that it is definitely waterproof. Maybe not waterproof in the sense that it won't completely come off in water. It's just, seriously, if you do not touch this shit for like three days, it'll stay there. Not that I've done that, but it's one of those that you like, seriously, you cannot take it off with like, I tried with like a baby wipe. No. Regular water? No. Seriously, if you try with regular water or a baby wipe, you will peel it the fuck off. Makeup wipes, makeup remover is the way to go because the shit stays. Like, it stays. Like, I partied, I'm going to upload a video in a, probably tomorrow of Brie and I partying at her house with a bunch of our friends and I had put my makeup on at like seven o'clock that morning when I went to work when I went to her house we partied all night we slept in until like noon and at noon my makeup was still on and it had not even smudged at all nothing not gone anywhere so this shit is heavy freaking duty love it Love it. I might repurchase it. I might. Next, I think this was my last month's one, but I, yes, it was because I remember talking about how expensive it was. Anyway, this is the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Lashes. And just the, like, little, I think, it's not a deluxe sample, but I don't know. Anyway, this shit is amazing. I honestly think that I'm going to repurchase it. Even though it's like $20 for the damn mascara, if not more, like $24 or some shit. It's amazing. I just seriously, I use it every single day. I used it today and it is just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, all right. I honestly think that that's it for my monthly favorites. Um, I'm getting sick of talking now because my throat's kind of sore. Anyway, oh wait, there are a couple of other things that I have monthly favorites that I do not have personally inside of my hand. The first is Taylor Swift's new album, 1989. I think that's it. Anyway, I just downloaded it onto my phone. I didn't buy that shit, whatever. It's awesome. There's probably like two or three songs that I'm like, okay, those are stupid. But all the rest of them are amazing. Favorite songs on that album are I Know Places, Style. Style is definitely my favorite. And then Blank Space. I love that one. And then, One Direction's new album, Four. Absolutely love it. I, d I actually bought that one on my phone. Because, um, you know, I've got to support my boys. I don't give a shit about Taylor Swift. i got to support my boys. Anyway, favorite songs on that one are Night Changes, uh, Stockholm Syndrome, definitely, and 18. Definitely check those out. Um, they are just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, ow! 
cat just bit my toe. Anyway, I'm ending this video now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't ramble on too much for you. I love you all. I will see you very soon with another video. Bye, guys.